Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Battles run. And today I'm gonna try to force the most busted build in the game. Oh, lucky, lucky me, Whetstone. Which is, in case you don't know, the the good old <laughs> the good old crossblades build. And we found a piggy bank that's gonna obviously pair for itself, and let's try to get another good old good old uh, whetstone. Here we go. So and another uh, we wooden sword too. So forcing this build is very easy. You just super duper duper spam rerolls in the first four rounds, pretty much three or four rounds. And this guy is already outscaling us. This is a loss. We don't even need to look at this fight. <laughs> we don't need to look at this fight. A bit unlucky there, but it is what it is. And we found another whetstone. How lucky can one be? So we're gonna buy whetstone one, whetstone two. Uh, what's on two or the sword and in the sword or everything and rotate this around put everything in here and let's put the sword in and let's obviously put another whetstone over here and uh, this should theoretically be a loss i'm thinking about th throwing this away i do want a lucky piggy but uh, as i said forcing things forcing things so the idea is you want to be forcing things you want to reroll as early as possible. This might even be a loss. Why the, the shield should be here, by the way, but let's speed this up. This should be a win, actually, not a loss because this he doesn't have build. I meant to win from the get-go. Nice, we got a cheap inventory room. That's actually lucky. And once again, right now, 75% chance to get common. By the way, I really enjoy that they added this. So once again, forcing, forcing, forcing. There he is. Force the game into getting giving you whetstones. Whetstone one again. Boom. Be a cheap piggy bank. Should have maybe bought that and locked the whetstone. Should have maybe bought this and locked the whetstone. Mm. I mean, this pays back in two rounds. Do I want it? I, I mean, I do want it, but we're gonna lose some money on uh, some two rerolls on that. This is a guaranteed loss. By the way, everybody is gonna be countering you. Every single player right now is playing shields, trying to counter the crossblades build. Like everybody. But we will, if if I get to the crossblades in time, I will show you how you beat even those that are supposed to counter you. So we, we will get losses here. It's okay. But I, I, you will see, you will see. We got this. Whetstone, whetstone. Here we go for two even. That was lucky. Lock this down. And honestly, you know what? I should have done this. I would have won if I did this. In the previous fight, that is. If I had done that in the previous fight, we would have won. Ah, it is what it is. Making mistakes is part of the deal. Uh, Goobert is also a thing we want, but still, high chance for common items means we roll into specifically whetstones. Are we serious? Here we go, and we obviously want that, and this is a cheap one. Nice. Let's go. This is a triple, and the build is ready, right? Yeah, the build is ready. I know I'm literally missing one glove, and we are super countered. <laughs> we are super duper countered this time, but this time I have set these up in the correct way, so we're doing enough damage. Maybe... Maybe now nah, we lose from the poison. Man, literally everybody is trying to just beat the spikes, the the crossblade build. Everything, every every single build I'm fighting here is is trying to destroy us. So uh, we're playing on hard mode, man. We're playing on hard mode, but it's okay. We got the legendary sword. I would like you to be at the other side so you get the attack speed, just like this. Always try to min max, especially when opponents are trying to counter you. And we found it. No, uh, yeah, 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 we continue. We didn't find it, we continue. And we're gonna also buy this for maybe an early win. So yes, I do have the hero sword ready, but you're gonna see how you super duper min max this. I'm gonna literally show you the best possible version of this. At long last, somebody without spikes, we win. This is a win. Anybody who doesn't have spikes cannot really beat us right now. Unless I lose. I lost. Ah, what? Wow, we almost lost. Foo, we almost lost there. Let's go, combo those. Another red stone, let's go! I got the build. I got the god build, boys. Now I just need to survive. Now it's just a matter of survival. Literally. Literally just a matter of survival at this point. Um, and the reason is very simple. First of all, let's increase the damage and not the... Actually, no, luck is 5% charge chance. Yeah, we're gonna stick to what we have. Now, we found also the sword. Yeah, literally. We got it. We got everything. We literally got and lined up everything. I'm not gonna combine these right now. I need a Goobert, though. You know what? Put this in. Put this in. And uh, now we can only hope. One can only hope. One can only hope, literally. Uh, we have two lives. So if the opponent's not gonna be a Spikes build... I'm just searching for a glove, man. 40% chance to find a glove. No. Oh, this is actually good for us. Because now I can get the piggy bank to get the higher chance thing. Yeah, let's obviously do that. So I can also combo this now. I'm not gonna be able to do it right now, timely speaking. 
Or I can, if I remove the garlic. If I remove the garlic, I can make the piggy bank get evolved right this moment. So I'm gonna put you here. This, this banana needs to somehow still fit while the piggy bank also does its thing. So we need to push everything one spot down, I would say. Including this trifecta here. You go one down, you go as, as it was, literally as it was. Done. And then you go up, you go one down, you go up here with this, this. Mm, I definitely want you in this. Okay, let me reorganize here to actually fit this because I, there is no chance that this is not possible. Okay, done. <laughs> Took me just a second. Now we're going to lose a bit of DPS because of the Gloves of Haste are hitting the Hero Sword instead of the Longsword. But the thing is that this has plus four melee damage from the Hero Sword, so this also does a lot. I would need to be here. This costs one stamina, 0 0.7. Yeah, this also costs less, so this is a better idea. Yeah, and I got the combo going. Nice, 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 nice. So I, I just need to not lose a life here. And even if I lose a life here, it's not really that bad. I just don't want to get to Death's Door. Like, it's it's still okay, even if I lose here. And this is a blueberry. Do I want a blueberry? I think I want it. I think I want a blueberry. I think we need a blueberry. Let's uh, Let's go. This is like the one to, oh, come on, man, why? The game is like, oh, so you want to not fight spikes? How about you only fight spikes? Come on, survive, survive. <laughs> so now I'm at death's door without the anti-spikes build in, on the ready. And I just got the, I, I just got the build. I literally just got the build. Oof, 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 oof. So uh, now you join. We got the Falcon Blade. Uh, you definitely go up there. This is irrelevant where it goes. A blueberry goes here. Attack speed joins. The build is ready, by the way. Like, the build is harmson ready. Let's go here so these can go back. Nice, this looks decent. I just need to survive, man. I just need to survive. And I found even bow and arrow. Whoa, and I just need a goobert, man. I, 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 it's over. Like, the build is 100% ready. The build is 100% ready. Just don't give me spikes enemies, man. Just don't give me spike enemies. I think this doesn't fit. I think I'm going to buy the health potion. Maybe that's going to save us 12 health and 4 anti-poison. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Please don't spikes. Please don't spikes. Please don't spikes. Please don't spikes. Please, 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 game. Don't give me spikes, please. Come back. Meh, meh. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, I have healing. I have this healing. We I, okay. I got the shield away. We won. Bye bye. We won. Let's go. Oh no! Please still create shielding. I'm taking the vampirism away. Yeah, we won. No. Yes. Oh man, my heart's going very fast right now. We found the crits and shield piercing, and I find I have the arrow. So now I need room. <laughs> now I need room. This doesn't fit. This also doesn't fit. You definitely join. Because guess what? The bow and arrow does not have issues with the stupid... Um, look at this. So this bow and arrow is going to be doing the most damage right now. I would like you to also buff the bow and arrow. Now this attack speed should go here. And this should go one spot back. And this should go like a different... No, I think we're good how we are. Can I put these a smidge better though? I would like this sword. I mean, I want everything to be buffing the bow and arrow, as the bow and arrow has no downside. I would say this is the best spot to have everything. But I want attack speed on the banana. Let's go attack speed on the banana. This hero sword does not need to exist. We do not need to die from spikes. Nice. I need this piggy bank to be hitting that. Right now, that's not really possible. Let's roll. Maybe we're gonna find some room. Nice, we found some. And we found Book of Light, which is what's gonna carry us in general. The Book of Light is maybe the most important aspect. You go here and you go here. Uh, this Can this go one up? You know what? For right now, we're not gonna use the attack speed part of that. And I'm just gonna buff the chance of us getting crit chance. That's what we're gonna do. This book of light is important, but not right now. I don't have money. Nice. So you go just wherever. I guess here to give us some mana. And you join. This here might save us. This might also save us. I don't have money though. Let's actually try to find some room. 
Oh, the Goobers. Whoa, the build is so ready, man. The build is so ready. And I'm just gonna be fighting spikes after spikes. I don't even need the money. I need just to survive. Please. I mean, shielding is better than that. Please, please, please don't kill me, man. Please, please. And a banana is also here. Please, man. I just need to survive. Please. Wait. Vampirism is definitely something I want. And this leather armor might actually save us. This, this might be exactly what we need. Please. Nah, I just don't need this. Please, 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 please don't kill us. Please, 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 please. Yes, it's not a spikes build. Let's go. It's a four bananas build, though. Oof. Ah! Come on, go. Come on, go. No, the bananas. No, the healing. Yes, yes, yes. Still in the game. Still in the game, boys. Still in the game. Here we go. We got the cross blades. So, obviously, we're gonna give the damage to the bow. So we're gonna go like this, and the banana's gonna get the attack speed. So, 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 so. We have 14 coins. 6 and 3 is 9, and 9 is 18. So we don't have enough. But if I sell a piggy bank... Uh, wait, I need how much? So this is 9, 9, 18. And I have 14, so I need 5 more. 2, 3. We don't have enough. Okay, so the vampirism cannot join right now. But I can join this because we have 14. So I can do 1, 2, 3. And we have room. And, and we get the banana. And we get a goobert. And, and the goobert combines with the hero sword. And we win. Like this is... It's... it's We are one stage away. One. One. Literally one stage away. Uh, Once again, we give damage to this. So you go up. You go like this. So attack speed to the triangle. And damage to the sword. Yeah, nice. So that's the correct version of how you do that. Uh, We're not getting luck though. Luck is important. You join. Go one down. You definitely go like this. You definitely go here. Man, my heart is racing. I can't even explain how much my heart's racing right now. Uh, I can definitely fit this. Because we have two room. So, where and how will I do that? I guess this... Why is this thing in the backpack of crits? Does it matter? How could I fit this? If I put a if I if I give the attack speed one two and this one two and then I don't think this is gonna do a big difference and save us. I do I do think blood amulet is gonna save us. By the way, two vampirism. This is only for right. I don't need this. This banana doesn't fit. Let's roll. Maybe I'm gonna find inventory space. I do care about this very much. I also care about this very much. Uh. I mean, this is more important than the other one. I need inventory space. I need inventory space. Let's just go with what we have right now. Let's buy the banana and hope for the best. Actually, just roll. Roll. I save on inventory space. So I'm going to say we sell the piggy bank. We buy the inventory space. And put the, put the guard again. Right now with what we have. Man, every single thing counts. Every single thing counts. Can this be done better? Y yes. Yeah, I want the banana to be triggering as fast as possible. Nothing really changed here, by the way. I, I need bananas for our stamina because this thing's gonna be firing very fast. Man, I'm so, so, so excited to, to showcase this unless we lose. Don't give me a specs build, please. Yes, it's the same build with us. We got this. They have vampirism. We have a bow and arrow. Let's see who wins. We already are winning, by the way. And I also have Goobert. <laughs> we have the God Goobert, of course. And we won. We won. We won. I think the whole build is... It's, it's over. Like, we won the whole game now. So, how do you do this? You do it like following. You have a Goobert. You have this. The Goobert makes... Whenever these both attack, they give us shielding. And they also get damage boost. The This here is giving damage boost on the Bone Arrow anyway. And attack speed boost on the Banana. I should have the Goobert here, right? So the banana triggers more often. Nice. And uh, this is... I mean, we just need room. And that's it. And banana, of course, to continually scale attack speed. Roll them. On the attack speed, I found Goobert. I don't care about that. I found the color for more crits. We're obviously gonna buy that. Is this not touching the crits? Oh, I need to... Uh, yeah, I need to definitely organize this guaranteed better. So you go one spot down. Uh, if not more... Yeah, everything needs to go some spots down. So, uh, you go something like this. Wait, what? 
Let me reorganize. And before I reorganize, let me actually see if I can find something in the shop. So let's buy this, roll them. And that's that. Didn't find anything shop. Let me reorganize now. Okay, back. So uh, I did organize. I, st I, I definitely want the Lucky Piggy to be hitting like the Piercing Arrow because this has a higher chance to give us crit chance this way. And then uh, once again, every time the Bone Arrow and the Steel Gubert activates, we have a high chance for getting crit. Whenever this thing crits, it's going to give us a double attack on the Bone Arrow. And this is going to give us uh, practically double the value of the luck on crits. And we have all four sides of the Gubert, the star sides, having something to activate them. So we're going to be scaling damage very fast. Once again, the main killer is going to be spikes. It's always going to be spikes. But from here on out... I will try to showcase how you beat the spikes build. So from here on out, we're going into once again a full-on force build. We're going to be forcing things now, but they are legendary and godly, so it's going to take us a while. Another Gubert build, and we should be winning this because they don't have the bone arrow aspect that we have. And uh, yeah, let's see how this is going to go. And they also don't have the Gubert in the first place, so it's it's over. Look at this. Boom, boom, dead. Another 36, and 42 You're done. You're done. And now we try to force. First of all, inventory space is something we need. Uh, 544 four is decent -ish. And this is exactly what I wanted, the mana orb. Exactly what I wanted, the mana orb. And now we try... Oh, oh, oh that was nice. 343. Three. I put it wherever, it doesn't matter right now. Let's roll him. Nice. And this is also nice. Another color. I, I would like this to go... Oh, you know what? I want an item here. You can go there. So we have a higher chance of hitting that. Actually, I can do this. Does that help? Why would that help? That, that did not do anything. Anyway, you go over here. I prefer I, I prefer this triggering for luck more than anything else. I'm going to continue going for those. This banana is going to leave this place at some point and another icon corner is going to go there. We're only going to be critting. Uh, by the way, in case you don't know, crossblades, ten, plus 10 damage on the bow and arrow, and then plus 60% attack speed on the banana. And banana gives us stamina and healing. I literally said I'm going to force things, and I'm not forcing things. Forget this. You go here. Forget this. We, we don't need that much luck. Crit chance. Do I? No, I'm going to take it. I'll take both of these. I'm still trying to force. Oh, this is countering us. Let's see. I have the bone arrow, though, that does not get affected by that. So only half my damage is going to be spiked death to death. Yeah, bye-bye. Boom, and dead. Nice. Yeah, you're not going to beat us with spikes anymore. We're not going to lose from spikes anymore. Okay, shielding. Okay, caller. First of all, let's do this. But not like that. <laughs> like this. And you go here. Give us that. Perfect, so we have super duper high crit chance now. Let's not forget that. Oh, what am I doing? This needs to be like that. Oh, this is this is fully wrong because I need this to be hitting the crossblades. I'm pretty sure people are scre were screaming on the screen for this. But now I have this correctly. Okay, now this is corrected. Uh, I would like to change a lot of things now though. I need you to get pushed up. I can do this. I am losing one of those aspects, but it's okay. You go like this, and something in this corner, I guess you. Nice, and then I guess you. And you can go... I guess where the piggy bank is. Yeah, and then you go here. Push these away. You go like this. I don't need the mana right now, so I don't need to min-max the mana. And because I push those to the left... You go here. How can I do this line? Oh. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Just buy the thing from the, there. Nice. So this is going to be triggering very often. The crit chance is what I care about. The crit chance and the unmissed chance. Okay, and now I'm going to force the build. And now from here on out, I will roll only for mana orbs. And books. That's it. Man orbs, books. Man orbs, books. Man orbs, books. That's it. These, this books, by the way. Book of Light. The, which this book of Light might kill us, by the way. The fact that he has that might kill us. Uh, for the two seconds of immunity. Uh, go through before he gets the mana. Yes. Ooh. Another bow, obviously, useless for us. Another uh, whetstone. Nope. 
Roll him. And nice, another mana stone, exactly what I asked for. Give me this. Box of light, box of light, box of light. No, no good bit. Box of light, box of light. Here we go. And we go on. And we go on. I will need this too. I won't have the money for both of those. But now let's go for the book of light. And let's hope we're gonna survive this one. Man, I'm up death door all the time. I heard this rush. Okay, this is a win. Unless he box of light us faster than we destroy him. Six mana. Okay, we definitely out mana most of the things. So oh, 50 and dead. Bye bye. He never even booked of light. Why did he lose the mana? Oh, he had mana spending while having a book of light. Big mistake. What happened? No! No! Please keep my run. Please, please. It crashed. The game crashed. I'm opening the game up again. Please don't. Don't. Please, 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 please. I have opened up the game right now. It's loading. Here we are. Concede active game? No, I don't want to concede. Continue game. What? I lost my free my win? What? Let's see what's happening. And now we're playing with a spikes build. Well, it doesn't matter because we have bone arrow and spikes don't affect us anymore that much. And he doesn't have the immunity. Then <laughs> exploded there at the end. Explo and we got two books of light. Perfect. That's literally what I want, by the way. Uh, this activates every three, this activates every 3.5, so let's rotate those away. Yeah, this is still hitting everything. Yeah, that's it. Like, th th this is it. That's it. The build is ready. We literally just want to be getting books of light after books of... Uh, can this be put in a better spot? This would be the best spot. Ritz on the bow. I think this is the best spot, man. I want to be getting mana as fast as humanly possible. I don't think crits matter more than mana gain. And I think the bone arrow does a lot more than what the crossblades do. Like, the crossblades are mainly the buff that they do right now. I think this is better. Let's go. I think I might be wrong about this. Let's go. Okay. This is a poison build, so we should be winning from that, that fact alone. Yep, we got the Book of Light. And they're dead. Bye-bye. Oh, still alive. Okay, okay, still alive. That's obviously good survival mode. Obviously. We beat two people, by the way. And I found another mana orb. Very nice. So the idea here is... Uh, by the way, the nerf there, this like crazy crossblades used to be getting 5% attack speed. Now it gets 1% attack speed. And it used to have a cooldown of 1.2 in the beginning. Now it has 1.6. <laughs> and uh, it's still busted. Obviously, we're going to go with Book of Light. Every single Book of Light is another revive. This has a cooldown of 4 seconds. This has 3 seconds. So we're going to go Book of Light here. Actually, uh, I'm not sure what's better. I mean, I can just do this. Still, uh, we min max out. Uh, do I want more attack speed? I mean, yes. Let's go another book. Uh, let's go more mana. I mean, to have as much mana generation as possible. This could also go here. I think this activates faster, though. I'm not sure how often these activate. Uh, let's go attack speed. Do I need more room? I think I need more room. Uh, is this this whole line? Yeah, it's the whole line. Could go here, for example, and then here. Nice. Roll them. And more room. This can now go here. This can go back to where it was. I think we do have enough at this point that we're going to be gaining the mana very fast anyway. But I don't think we need more crits. We just need more mana and more books. Books, actually, if, 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 if only books. Uh, spikes build again. So we have two books, as I said. They are removing our, deep, our buffs, so I need to get my mana up fast. Come on, seven. Nice, I'm damage immune. Now they can't do anything to us. Go up, 48. 50 million dead. There it goes. <laughs> uh, at the end of the turn, it's like, pop, 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 dead. <laughs> it begins with, okay, it's going well, it's going well, dead. I love it. Uh, more shielding start. Mm, I wouldn't really say I need it. I just need books. Tortilla is a guaranteed yes. You find tortilla, you take tortilla. You find tortilla, you take tortilla. It's always a free win. Always. It hits both the main weapons we have. Here it doesn't. Here it does. Here it doesn't. Here would be the best, but it's not possible to go there. Unless I push everything one spot up. Do I really need to hit the banana? I think here it's 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 well enough here. It's good enough here. It doesn't matter. It's going to be hitting the piercing or anyway. And uh, yeah, let's go. Nice. And this is, fits, so might as well do it right now. The reason why I'm buying these is they also give us more energy. 
One mana. Spikes build. Super spikes build. They they literally are here to counter us. Let's see. If I get my shielding, we win anyway. And boom. Shielding. Now what? Now what? And shielding again. Boom. Now what? Now what? Bye-bye. That's how you always win with this. You just go as many boxes and mana generation as possible, man. Books and mana gen. Books and mana gen. Do I need this? Not really. No. I just need more blueberries. Not the Tiano. Or banana. I mean, for two, it's cheap enough to buy. And for two, I'm gonna buy it. And let's go. Let's see what next spikes build I'm gonna destroy with the defense. Let's see. Let's see. Well, as long as I have three books, we are good to go. Book number one. Oh, they also have books. Let's see. L let's see what books the booker, man. Let's see what books. By the way, I'm scaling. It doesn't matter that you book. And we won. And we won. Easy enough. One more turn to survive. Let's see. Can I find the last book? Can I find some mana at the end? Nope. Nope again. Here we go. Found mana. Uh, let's go. Again. Oh, there, there was a book. Nah. It is what it is. I don't think we need more books. We need more mana anyway. And uh, none of these. None of these. A tortilla for five. A book for 12. <laughs> a tortilla for five, I think, is the play. And I would put it right here. It's the other tortilla. Also, it's a banana. I could also put it here. And go, you go here. Nice. Banana goes here. And the last book goes... Uh, I have a double rooms here. So whenever you have two rooms somewhere, it means that by just switching th some things around, you will be able to fit things. And that's the build. So we have three books. The main build, by the way, in case you want to copy this, is the following. Bow and arrow, cross blades, a banana in the corner so you get attack speed, steel goobert. That's it. The these four items is the main build. And then after that, the secondary build that you want to build so you don't get countered is mana orbs, at least two, and then as many books as possible. That's it. I have done a bunch of things here, which is not the perfect thing. By the way, this is uh, also not perfectly set up here. Better. Um, yeah, I have done here a bunch of things that are not the quote-unquote perfect. But still, uh, as I said, like, if I didn't have this banana, I, I mean, I would say you want bananas, but uh, you just want mana gen regeneration. Like, you want mana regeneration books. Books, 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 books. Just go a bunch of books. Let's lock this for the next game, which is doesn't exist. And let's go and win with the most busted thing in the game. Y you cannot beat us. But this guy isn't even using the gin lamps correctly. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Death immunity in a moment. Boom. Death immune one. Mana, mana, mana. Boom. Death immune two. Mana, 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 and it's over. And it is over. Can I see my damage? By the way, this was also a book build. They were from Toyota. <laughs> did they get a single book activation? What happened? Like, why, why did you not get it? Wow, that was 300 damage. Okay. They didn't get a single book activation. 356 damage. It seems to me. Did they? I don't think they did. Very weird. Very weird. Yeah, I'm looking at their mana. They're at 6-5, six, 6-5, five, six, five, six, five. Like, they, they didn't get a book activation. Man, you know, I think the main problem that people are doing... Yeah, they didn't. The main mistake that people are doing is that they go for a mana build, like this, for example. Blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. Okay, and then they also go with this. Use 4 mana to deal 7 more damage and all your attacks are crits. Yeah, but 4 mana here and 4 mana here... When will you get the cleanse buff, like the, the damage immunity? You have four books and they're literally not activatable. So I don't know what you were thinking. They also had a mana orb. Why, why do you have the gin lamps to the side? I don't understand. I don't understand what this build is supposed to do from Toyota. But anyway, we won. I did enjoy this. Uh, I think this is the most busted build. Like, this is uncounterable, in my opinion. Completely uncounterable. Because you have the books to protect you. And I have seen this in the extreme version. I have fought that. Because I'm playing this game also on my free time a bit. And I have actually seen somebody with, like, 10 books. Uh, 4 mana stones. And then just the triple... Uh, without the goober, though. They, obviously, getting the goober is going to cost you a bunch and a lot of time. Like, the goober alone costs the 2 whetstones, which is, like, 8. And then a sword, 13, uh, 11. And then the goober itself is 6. So that's, like... The goober costs... 5, 6, 17. So the Goobert costs 17. You don't need the Goobert. The Goobert is just so that you scale, right? Because these three do not scale you. The, I mean, the, the Crossblades does scale on its own, but they, the bow doesn't scale, and the banana also doesn't scale. So the Skrill Goobert, the idea is that you scale. So no matter what happens, you're going to win at the end, right? But I have seen the Extreme version, which was Crossblades, one banana, 
one bow and arrow, and everything else was books. Like, they had 10 books and four, four, five mana orbs or something. And then for the first 14 seconds of the fight, they were just literally damage immune. Now, uh, that idea, obviously, is to build on the crossblades. But my idea is to build on the bow and arrow. That's the, that's the, that's the idea here. The Steel Goober is building the bow and arrow. Um, is, is that actually true? Because I, I might be wrong about this. No, the crossblades is the most damage. But uh, still, the idea is that you have the bow and arrow to deal some DPS too. I mean, it's 50% more DPS. Look at the 66, 34. So th this is the double of that. So this means without the bow and arrow, I would be doing half damage. And uh, half damage sometimes is not acceptable. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, by the way, if anybody has any idea about build, something unique, something awesome, something fun, something meme something anything, you know, comment down below and tell me about it. Because yesterday I did like a bow and arrow build, and um, yeah, that was an idea of a viewer. So um, there's that, I guess. And this is the most busted build because I saw the, you know, I saw that thing that I just mentioned, crossblades plus 10 books, and uh, it was fun. By the way, I beat that thing. I beat the crossblades plus 10 books. And you know how you beat that? By just having the gemstone that says remove a random debuff from the random buff from the opponent and you just don't allow the other person to regenerate mana so this is not a hundred percent foolproof like you can get countered but they need to remove your buffs and not a lot of people are removing buffs maybe i should do a remove buff build do you want to see a remove buff build to showcase how busted that is because it's really powerful if the opponent's playing like spikes and and mana and you know region and crits and you just take everything away and they literally are a, a naked build uh, but you can also get countered by a crossblades build so uh, you win some you lose some on the anti-debuff build uh, anti-buff build not anti-debuff anyway that's going to be for today hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around